Welcome to Rise and Decline. My name is Mauro Ferreira and I am with my co-host Ethan Gordon. And we will be talking about the subject why World Hello. War II films dying. And we will start off by talking about why do you think they decrease in popularity, Ethan? I think it's because there was seem to be maybe uh, maybe nineties or something, where there's a huge boom in a load of war films and yeah. that is kind of people have kind of gotten bored of it. Mm. Like years ago when um um Western films were a huge thing. After a while, people just got bored of it. Same with superhero films, it's gonna happen eventually. Zombie films, it just kind of happens eventually. Then they slowly rise again, mm -hmm. maybe decline again as well. That's true. Seems That's to be true. a lot of genres, how that works. There is, exactly. But, and the main reason, like, why they lost popularity is just because they're always the same thing. Like, it's always American soldiers. Mm -hmm. They're never diverse. It's, it's always like, they always fight in D-Day, or they always fight in, like, Iwo Jima's, like, stereotypical battles included. Yeah. And they never change in their dead locations, always the same American heroes, but they're not really. They always have the same storyline, which is why they decrease. But when it comes to other genres, the World Two films especially, mm -hmm. it's just the same thing, America going there, just doing victory over but in stereotypical battles that wasn't recorded. Mm -hmm. But another thing I wanted to discuss was how the genre of war have been decreasing a lot lately. Yeah. And there have been like new genres that have been coming into the picture that have been popular. Yeah. What genres do you think have been popular so far and taken over war films, for example? One really obvious one we can all say is superhero films, obviously, you know, Marvel, DC. But then once I've really are uh, kind of taken centre stage into rising into popularity, you have Endgame which broke all the record and we've got it number one right now. Okay. We have you had Infinity War still getting billion and you have like Captain Marvel, which wasn't even a big film like Infinity War or anything, and it's still got over a billion. It did, yeah. So these films are right now I think they're at their peak of their they interest are. because it all led up to it. DC is there, but it's still doing pretty well with Joker just came out. Yeah. That everyone's talking about. So right now it seems like superhero films are the genre that is really or subgenre of sci fi is it? Yes. Yeah, so it's really taking this world by storm for a bit. That is Maybe true. a couple of years. That is the thing about superhero films, they always hybrid. Yeah. Like, for example, I know Captain America is a World War II film. Yeah. But Captain America is it's very popular because it was the first Avenger that led to um, Endgame. So it starts with a storyline and then it ends with one. So mm -hmm. it started in World War II. But the main aspect of World War II is to show respect. But on Marvel's behalf, which made it very popular, is making it science fictional, for example. Um, how do you think World War II films can progress? I think maybe they could have some different types of stories, maybe less about stories on, on the war, maybe some stories of out of war, you know, like people who are not in there, but you know, losing family members. Oh, like civilians. And yeah. Like, oh, okay. You no, know, I don't. I, there is some stories about you know children being taken from into the countryside. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's obviously there's not any. Mentioned then mentioned, but not in cinema. Yeah. There should be maybe some showing how culture shock it was for some of these children. Yeah. Some yeah. children didn't even know what count was when they first went to the countryside. That is true. Exactly. So maybe some different types of perspectives would be a good way to take this um, genre, if you call it a genre. Yeah, it's, it's, no, that's true. World War II films aren't always have to be about war, of course. Yeah. And like, you, that's a great example as well. I'm very interested to see like that. I really want to like see a film in a perspective of a child when the blitz happens, like you're giving out an idea, mm -hmm. and how they're industrial, so they don't know much about the wildlife out there. Yeah. And like for films like that. Um, would have an effect on like the people because it's more diverse. Like World War Two films have to be more diverse in talking about the people and talking about other battles in general that are not really mentioned. Like for example, not many people know about um, the Battle of Madagascar or the Battle of in um, Italy. Even I don't know about it. Exactly, no one knows about it. That's mm. what I mean. And like if they are mentioned, it will, I think it would like rise up because it's something different that's breaking the stereotypes and locations. It'd be interesting to look at different. Perspective in parts of war. Oh, good. The reasons we mentioned are good ways World War II films can progress. Hmm. Just be more diverse. I mean, like, not being Eurocentric and Asian centric towards the films. And um, another question like, I'll, nowadays you see lots of films going on Netflix, and um, why do you think internet streaming providers can't popularize the World War II genre per se? And you can mention other genres, of course. But People are more interested in binge watching basically. Binge watching mm. is a much more popular form of watching shows today. 
We obviously have Stranger Things, people fun binge watch that. Breaking Bad, which originally wasn't bingeable, but now when it is, people just binge and it became more popular because of Netflix. Ne I think Breaking Bad was the main reason why Netflix became popular, because there's one place you can watch the show all in its entirety in one sitting. Mm. And then there's other shows like Black Summer, which you can all watch in one big sitting. So I think if you make a World War show, maybe make it very in intense and um, kind of hard to watch, mm -hmm. but make it all bingeable, so maybe people may watch four episodes and they stop and they will come back to it but people can watch all through it and you could have some unique ways of working around that basically. Yeah. So Netflix, um, could Netflix, I don't know because there's some films on Netflix that I just never knew existed. Yeah. So basically the best way for it to work would be how it markets it, how yeah. to make it That's true. more known that you that is out and you want to watch it. Yeah, of course. Netflix do have a, like a high viewing figures and marketing campaign, and I think if War was added in Netflix or Amazon Prime, whatever, mm. like Man in the High Castle, it's like an alternative World War Two film, and that well, sorry, a World War Two show, and that gained a lot of popularity. So if there were World War Two films in Netflix, I feel like it would rise a little bit. Mm. But that's all we have today in Rise to Decline and a World War Two films dying special. I am Mara Pereira, and this is my co-host Stephen. Thank you. See you later.